Hey YouTubers, this is Cred Big Rig here, and I've got a very important message for you. In the next few months, we're going to have to defend with every single inch of our bodies the right of the people to keep and bear arms. Now some nut jobs out there think that you're only allowed to have a musket and ball. Would they really like it if we took their internet away from them? Because such free thinking ideas that you can get so quickly have to be dangerous, right? No, they don't think so. They are only worried about their First Amendment rights. They could care less if the government tramples on you in every other way. This is an SLR 107. It's made by Arsenal Incorporation. It is a semi-automatic only sporting rifle. It was imported to the US as a sporting rifle. There's nothing fully automatic about it, and the, to be honest with you, there's nothing dangerous about it unless you have nefarious plans. Ready? Ready for this? This is what Diana Feinstein's ban on assault weapons will do. Did you see that? Is it a gun? Still looks the same, doesn't it? That's because the ban on assault weapons is purely phobia, all right? High capacity magazines. That's what this is called by the extreme left. These are normal capacity. This is what was designed for the gun, all right? This is what it was designed for to fully function properly. These little five round magazines don't function correctly in these guns. That's because it was never designed originally to shoot from a five round magazine or a 10 round magazine. Now personally, I like these little mags just for collector's purposes, they're kind of neat, but at the same time, do I want to defend my family against four or five attackers like what happened in Florida not too long ago with just five rounds? No. And proponents of the assault weapons ban say, yeah, but it'll take you know criminals' firearms off the streets. It won't. It doesn't take the guns away, and that's because the liberal judges won't throw them in jail. And if they do, it's for a year and then they're out again. The old 94 assault weapons ban, the only thing that changed on this gun is this muzzle brake had to be permanently attached because this is a muzzle brake, it's not a flash hider. These ears on the bayonet mount had to be machined off. That was it because you already had your two extra features on the gun, your pistol grip and your side folding stock. Now a lot of people just got away from that by making it a fixed stock. You can get a pistol grip and then you can get your muzzle brake as long as it was permanently attached and the whole world sang kumbaya. Now before you guys start screaming again that the assault weapons ban was effective, it wasn't. Look at Columbine. They were using high capacity magazines that were quote unquote banned by Clinton himself, all right? All it did was make us sportsmen walk around in circles to acquire firearms. Now when I was growing up, I grew up in the assault weapons ban era. In fact, I was 18 while it was still enacted. I only had a year and a half or so before it expired. But when I went to a gun, show and a gun shop and I saw these guns out on the shelves, the only difference was on, say, an AR-15 was it had a bare barrel. There was no uh, muzzle device on it. Big whoop. A lot of people think that you don't need to fire fast when it comes to defending your family. Well, one shot just doesn't do it sometimes. It might take five, six, sometimes ten shots to put an assailant down. Or you could have the alternative. You could have no firearms you're tied up against your chair while you watch your children get raped. Does that feel good? Does that sound good? Do you have the ability 
to defend yourself? Yeah, that's right. You're going to go up against an armed assailant with a baseball bat. Very fucking smart. You need to fight the assault weapons ban. You need to fight the magazine capacity bans that will be coming down the pipe. Our senators have decided to be quiet about this issue because either people just aren't talking about it or they're really anti-gun and they don't want to get kicked out. They got your votes because you thought they were pro-gun. A good example is Bob Casey. He said that he was pro-gun, but look at him now. He just spoke up in a news interview saying we have to ban these assault weapons. Guess what, Bob Casey? We will vote you out if you vote against us. I don't care if the ban passes or not. If you vote yes, we will vote you out. This is the 30 6 cartridge. It's very popular for hunting, target shooting, just general sport. It's over a hundred year old design. And quite frankly, this is probably one of the deadliest common cartridges that you can own. It has a maximum effective range at point targets about to a thousand yards. And in World War One, they decided that this was the point blank range for this cartridge was five to six hundred yards. Five to six hundred yards was point blank. Very powerful cartridge. No one's screaming about uh, these deadly calibers. You ready for the deadliest caliber in the world, as Whoopi Goldberg said? That's right. This is just a 22 caliber bullet. It's what the AR-15 uses. It's it's a pretty fast bullet, but it's only a 22 caliber bullet. It's what happened at the shooting in Connecticut horrible? Absolutely. But to say that this is the most powerful military cartridge out there, Whoopi needs to actually take a little break off of TV and take a little bit more time to read her history. Now this cartridge can kill a 120 pound deer. This cartridge isn't even acceptable for deer in most states. Now these semi-automatic sporting rifles right here shooting this cartridge it is a hunting rifle in quite a few states. Unfortunately not here in Pennsylvania because well quite frankly uh, there's a lot of Elmer Fuds out there that don't want you having these assault weapons. Uh, first issue is that even if you were to get semi-automatics legal to hunt with in PA, they still would need a five round capacity magazine. That, that never changed with us. If you, if you would put that semi-automatic weapon in the hands of a hunter, you're still going to need a five round max capacity magazine for it. That doesn't change anything and quite frankly the guys I've seen hunt in the woods with pump action rifles and lever action rifles can shoot just as fast as a semi-auto and they have the capability of holding more cartridges. But a lot of people don't like this round because it doesn't kill efficiently. That's right. This bullet's not designed to kill. It's designed to maim. When the US Army decided it wanted this caliber bullet. They decided that it would be a war of attrition from then on out. You used to use this big 30 caliber slug, killed someone, they just put them in a body bag, shipped them off. This caliber, however, they figured if you could wound a guy, you take three people off the battlefield. The victim, or enemy, however you want to figure it out as, and two soldiers carrying them. Now it's horrible that all 20 children died in this shootout, but imagine if they had a cartridge like this. If this cartridge, God forbid, had been used in that massacre, there'd be a lot more dead children. He could have lined them up and shot a single bullet, killing five or six kids. That's how much kinetic energy this cartridge has. We're actually lucky that he used the AR-15 cartridge. The 
556 military or 223 Remington. All it is is a 22. Thank you, YouTubers. <laughs>